Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Reverse Engineering Linux 32-bit Applications. In this video, I want to start on a new topic. We're going to talk about format string errors. So a format string is something that might be passed into a number of functions, and we're going to talk about how, in some cases, you can abuse calls to these functions. So what is a format string error anyway? There are a family of functions that accept a variable number of arguments. We talked about different kinds of functions and calling conventions earlier in this course. So if I have a function that can accept a varying number of parameters, then it might be susceptible to this kind of an error. Now, printf is sort of the stereotypical example function in this family. So the first argument for printf can be a format string, and we've actually seen that in some of our example programs that we've used here. However, it is also very common to call functions such as printf without a format string. You just give it something to print, or possibly more than one something to print. And this is done a lot. You know, programmers say, I just want to print this value. So they call printf, and they print it out. Now, some programmers assume that nobody is using a format string when they call printf. And as with most vulnerabilities, if the user has control of the inputs to that printf or similar function, this can lead to a vulnerability. So that is a problem for us. Well, it's not a problem for us if we're trying to find vulnerabilities. It's a problem for the programmers if they're trying to prevent them. So what's a typical example? You might have a program where you say printf my variable. And if the user can control this variable, it can lead to one of two things, typically. It can lead to information leakage, and you might say, I don't get how I could get information leakage. And I will show you in a little bit exactly how this can happen. And it can also lead to a program crash. So we could do a denial of service attack. And we will talk a little bit more about this as well. So what's a simple fix? Well, here's an example of a simple fix for this problem. Instead of just saying printf my variable, I could give it printf and give it a simple format string, such as percent %s, which says please print this thing as a string, which is safe to do for essentially everything. You can say treat it like a string. But nobody does this. It's just too much work, too much trouble. If you have an old C program, you don't want to go back and make this fix everywhere. So these vulnerabilities still exist in some places. Now again, it's not necessarily dangerous just to call printf with a single argument. What it is, if the user can control the input for that argument. All right, so let's look at a simple example ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a program. And I'll just call it format.c. Uh, 
We'll start with the normal stuff. Standard with h include standard io dot h. Create a main method. In my main method, I'm going to say int main int argc char star star arg b and i'm going to do something pretty straightforward i'm going to call printf and i'll just say this program prints what the user input and I'll just call printf and I will pass it arg v1 Remember, argv0 is the name of the program that you're running. And I'll have a simple check here too, just for convenience. I'm going to say if argc is greater than 1, so there's more than one argument, then Let's do this. Turn zero. So I'll go ahead and save that. I'll come out here and I'll compile it GCC M 32. It turns out for the format string error, it doesn't really matter if it's 64 or 32 bit, but because this is the 32 bit course, we'll continue down that road. So dash M32 format dot C dash O format. And it says warning format out of string literal and no format art format arguments. All right, so it is unhappy. With this, I think it's unhappy with my naming mostly. So we're going to call our output format string and it says warning format not a string literal and no format arguments or I say printf arg v what that was just a warning And actually, the warning it's giving me is all about the way that I called this. So this is actually warning me that I might have this vulnerability. So it's another place where you got to love the open source community. You don't see these kinds of warnings from, let's say, Microsoft's compiler. They don't say, hey, by the way, this could cause a problem. And it tells me here how to turn off this warning. Right? So this is a warning all about format strings. And it's telling me, hey, this could be a problem in your program, which I think is pretty cool. At any rate, let me get rid of that old program, just because it's probably not a Good thing to have a program called format and let's run it so I'll just say format string 
and I gave it no arguments and I'll give it the argument 42 and I printed out 42. I'll give it the argument of 3.141529 and it prints that out. What if I give it this? Say format string Freddy Friction. And it prints out Freddy Friction. So it pretty much does what it says it's going to do. It'll take your input and it'll give you output. So what are some other things that I could do here? Well, I'm going to give it something weird. Percent %x. Percent %x. And I want to see what it does. And so what it did is that it printed out it looks like four hex numbers. And four hex numbers that were each about four bytes long. So let me let me do this again. We'll start with just a single percent X. That's a bit weird. Not sure exactly what happened there. And so here you'll notice I got a number FFB0FE44. And you might say, well, what is that number? Well, we'll talk more about that in some future videos, but it seems like an address and you might recognize where that address most likely points. And let me go ahead and do another simple example where I'm going to use percent %n. And when I do this, it just exits and nothing bad seems to happen. But if I can bind the percent X's and percent N's, now all of a sudden my program core dumped. So we've shown that by manipulating what's passed in to printf, I can get some sort of information. We're not exactly sure what that is just yet. Or I can possibly cause the program to crash. So as always, it's much simpler to cause a program to crash than it is to redirect it and cause some sort of exploit to be run. But that's our introduction to format string errors. Now, as always, as a reminder, this video is one in a series of videos and courses that we have here at Pentester Academy your source for all things InfoSec. And I hope to see you in this course or another course soon. See you then.